So we wanted to mark Lewis Carroll's very, very iconic and famous children's book and its important anniversary by exploring what we have in our collections. And really the idea behind this exhibition is that we're looking at the way in which the story's changed, it's been re-illustrated, it's been reimagined, but yet it still really, really remains quite fundamentally close to Carol's original story. And we were quite interested by that. So we begin by looking at its creation. It was first told in 1862 on a riverboat trip. And then we have this very iconic manuscript, Alice's Adventures Underground. We then look a little bit at publication, so the role of Carroll as publish, publishing editor, I guess you would say, and his selection of John Tenniel to do the illustrations, which are incredibly iconic. Carroll was involved in the creation of this kind of Alice industry, so creating a sequel to the book, creating an edition for young children, but also kind of allowing other people to do things with the story, so create a musical, create memorabilia, which was very popular at the time. And then finally, into the 20th and 21st century, we're looking at what we call Alice Reimagined. So this is new printed editions of the book with new illustrations, but also looking at things like parody, the way Alice was used for marketing. We've got some wonderful Guinness um, brewery brochures that they produce, which use Carol's characters to kind of help promote their product. But then also looking at how different movements took it up. So the counterculture of the 1960s, that kind of idea of sort of psychedelia. And Carol's story is so popular because it's quite unusual, it's quite whimsical, it has these eccentric characters, and it really helps to draw connections with lots of different movements, artistic movements, political movements. People feel really drawn to the characters. So anyone who knows it will know that Alice goes through this series of quite unusual episodes in the book. She meets these very strange characters. She's very brave, she's very gutsy, she's a little bit bolshy. And I think this would have been a very different character to the ones that we're used to seeing in children's literature in the 19th century. And maybe that's why it succeeded and it remains so relevant today.